is finally done. Yes. Um, and clean and tidy and ready for your viewing pleasure. But before I show you, I thought I would show you some different kind of decorating ideas and how you can stage your room. I don't know, I like having things quite pretty and girly because I am a 26 year old child. So <laughs> before we jump straight in for me showing you my chest of drawers and what I've got on it, I thought I'd show you the wallpaper first um, and the flooring etc. so you get an idea. This is the wallpaper, it's got a big bold print on it and if I come close, hopefully it will zoom up and show you that the wallpaper is glittery. It's from Homebase and I will try and link it in the description box. If we go down, this is the chest of drawers. It, oh, I will put it down below because I've forgotten. <laughs> um, but it's from Ikea and I've got the matching bed and wardrobe to the range as well. It's like a white stained wood. It's got three drawers and then the top drawer opens up to reveal an, like an inner drawer which I put like makeup and pants and bras and stuff in. So this is an overview of the top of it, of my chest of drawers, just to show you what I have set up for my room. And I'm going to take you, oops, sorry, now I'm going to take you through all the different things on it. I love big statement mirrors and you might have seen my video how to paint shabby chic furniture where I painted a mirror and then sold it on eBay so check that out I'll put the link below but this is a beautiful rose one it's made out of wood and I got it from TK Maxx or HomeSense one or the other but they always do fantastic mirrors so I just prop that up against my chest of drawers and on the side is um, like a writing love heart I sell these in my shop um, I think they're about £1.15 and I'm in pink and red so I just put that up there normally it has like something on it but I've cleaned it because I think my friend put something a little bit offensive on it <laughs> underneath um, further forward this is my new photo frame from Marks and Spencers I haven't actually put anything in it yet but you can see it's kind of a glass one and it's really pretty and it reflects a light and I like things like that so I like to mix kind of metal, wood, glass and that's kind of it really. So metal, wood and glass, I think go really, really well together. Um, this is my bird cage. I'll put the link to where I got it from down below. And then on here are my evil birds. <laughs> I don't know if you can see, but they've got like the most evil eyes in the world. And they are from Paper Chase and they've got beaded tails, beaded wings, and then evil eyes, but they're very pretty. Um, sometimes I put perfumes in this birdcage or different things to store or it can just be a little decoration. This little tin is from Kath Kidson and it's really really pretty because it's just got the floral print on it incorporating all my pink and cream and touches of blue colours so I love it. Inside that I mainly keep like letters from subscribers or friends or the occasional love letter if somebody wants to send me one which is very rare. Um, it came in a set of three um, for a reasonable cheap price. It has a smaller tin and then a round one, which I normally store my change in, but I can't find the bottom. So let's throw those away. So that's my little Kath Kidson tin. And then on the top, I like mixing levels. If you can see, I've got the tall mirror and then it goes down. And then instead of having the perfumes on the floor, kind of on the base, I raise them up a little bit. So I'm kind of mixing levels and textures and lights etc. Um, my two favourite perfumes Vera Wang Princess and Juicy Couture Couture which I'm nearly out of which is very very sad. I like adding personal like reminders and memories on my dresser so this which is actually broken it was really sad was made for me by one of the children in my first ever class um, called George um, and it's like the most amazing little bunny and look at his little bum little tail oh you'll see painted it and I just keep it there to remind me of my first ever most amazing class my most amazing children oh, I miss them so that's there and then I've got this Slatkin and Co candle in what's it called frosting frosted cupcake I think yeah frosted cupcake um I burned different candles here I've just gone through a therapy apple pie one which was amazing and I've just started burning this one today so that's nice. Um, again, it adds light, as to mention, it lights up things, it reflects off the glass, my earrings. I just think it's really pretty and it makes me feel very relaxed. And I keep it on the lid so it's not a fire hazard. You don't want to go burning your house down. 
This is one of my favourite things on the dresser. It's a earring stand, and I got this from Urban Outfitters, but I actually now stock it in my shop online. The link will be down below. Um, I think I sell these for six pounds fifty. So it's made out of tin, and it stands up on a base, and it's kind of like a very light. Well, it's cream, I guess, with a little birdhouse and two little birdies on it. And this is where I keep all my. Well, I keep some rings. And you can just like hook them onto different things and then earrings so i've got these ones these are my favorite hearts and then i just keep all my big earrings these are really good for the summer can't wait to wear those um etc and i just think it looks really pretty on my <laughs> dresser i like it this was from urban outfitters as well and it's just a glass cut kind of little pot they still do these they do it in purple as well and again this oh my goodness this reflects the light it looks pretty it looks girly dainty inside i keep like my pandora bracelet and then just other cheap kind of i don't know bracelets and yeah different things in there but my pandora lives in there nice and safe and then i've got these really weird kind of stones now uh, i don't know where i got these from but yeah they're stones <laughs> um pair of earrings just to show you that my new earrings have come in they're like betsy johnson ones but they say love upside down and they're really sweet they are for pierced ears so they're on my website i think they're about oh i can't remember have a look then i keep my favorite products out at the moment i like pretty packaging and favorite kind of luxurious products to be on show I got this in a glossy box or a calming box and I loved it so much that I got it full size. It's a Balance Me Super Moisturising Hand Cream. And as I am approaching 30, oops, I need to look after my hands. This is amazing. It's a Laura Mercier Fresh Fig Souffle Body Cream. I love it. And again, kind of mixing up the heights. My Origins Perfect World Eye Cream. My Carrera's Pomegranate Lip Butter. And my Burt's Bees Cuticle Cream. And then the final thing is this amazing kind of cake rack. This was from BHS or British Home Stores. And it's got roses all the way around. It's made of metal. And it's really pretty. It's got a little heart carrier at the top. Oh! And then I kind of hang this heart, which I got from like a, a fair. I think people make these. I don't know. But yeah, it's really sweet. So I got that. I think that was like two pounds. Um, I have done an nail varnish collection. If you want to know what I've got, but I have switched them out and changed them around. Um, the top ones are like all my winter ones: frostbite, my metro chic, black ones, just various blues, sparkly silvers, purples, and like russets. And then down here is my spring summer ones. So I've got. Spasha Grenadine, which I'm actually wearing today by Essie. Mint Candy Apple. I don't know what that one is. Lilac Pastel, maybe. And then Model Zone. Rimmel. Nars. Marium. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. So, that's that disgusting Shrek colour. <laughs> so, that is my overview of kind of how I decorate my room so anyway just some final tips if you want to go for the same kind of theme as i do don't be afraid to mix textures glass mirrors lights tin wood packaging you know mix and match and also think about the different heights so height and texture is what i say and maybe hopefully keep it all in the same kind of neutral color and then just add splashes through your through your different add-ons that's all from me today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it inspiring and useful. I also found this amazing bracelet while I was tidying up. It's just made by one of the kids in my old class. It's so pretty. So I thought I'd wear it. <laughs> I'm going now um, and I hope you've all had a lovely weekend and I shall see you soon. Don't forget to subscribe. If you've got any amazing room ideas and tips and tricks and places to go and get things, post them down below. Um, and I shall see you later. Thank you very much. Bye.